Welcome back to the day's class. We are asked to solve for x in this polynomial. Now, for you to solve this, the first thing you need to do is, this cannot be just factorized easily. It cannot be done like that. So you are going to use what is called trial and error in solving this. Trial and error. But um, what do I mean by that? Let's check. If we say let x equals 1, if we are going to get 0, when we substitute x equals 1, into this equation. So we are going to have that 1 to the power of 3 minus 3 brackets 1 squared minus 9 brackets 1 minus 5 is equal to 0. So 1 to the power of 3 is what? Is 1. All right. Now 1 squared is still 1. And that 1 times minus 3 will give us minus 3. Now minus 9 times 1 is still minus 9. Minus 5 is equal to 0. By me looking at this, if we solve this, you are not going to get 0. Yes, because 1 minus 3 will give us minus 2. Minus 2 minus 9 will give us minus 11. And minus 11 minus 5 is definitely not 0. So that means that 1 is not a solution to this. We cannot say that 1 is x. Now let's check what if x equals minus 1. If x equals minus 1, then we have minus 1 to the power of 3, minus 3 brackets minus 1 squared, minus 9 brackets minus 1, minus 5 is equal to 0. Okay, let's see if this is going to give us what? If this will actually give us 0. Now, minus 1 to the power of 3 is minus 1. Now, minus 1 squared is 1. Yes, because minus minus is plus. So, minus 1 squared Sorry, this is outside. Minus 1 squared is what? 1. Now, that 1 times minus 3 will give us minus 3. Now, minus 9 times minus 1 is plus 9. And we have minus 5 here. Is equal to 0. Now, minus 1 minus 3 is minus 4, right? Minus 4. Now, 9 plus minus 5 is what? Plus 4 is equal to 0. And minus 4 plus 4 is what? 0. So that means that we can say that minus 1 is what? A root of this particular polynomial. So what do you now do? So we said let x. x equals minus 1. So that means that x, this minus 1, if we cross this equation plus 1, is equal to 0. Okay? Now once you've done this, this is the next thing you do. We are going to use this to divide this so that we'll get a quadratic equation, okay? So let's go ahead and use long division to divide this to get a quadratic equation. So this is what we are going to do. Remember, it's x plus 1 equals 0. So we are going to use x plus 1 to divide, to divide what? x to the power of 3 minus 3x squared, minus 9x, minus 5. Okay, so we go ahead and do that. Um, x divide x to the power of 3, or x to the power of 3 divided by x, this x. This is the most important aspect of this whole thing, because this is actually what we use, we, we keep using to divide, okay? So x to the power of 3 divided by x, we give us what? x to the power of 2. Now, x to the power of 2 times x, we give us x3. Then, x to the power of 2 times plus 1, we give us plus x squared. So, whatever you got after division with this, you are going to use it to multiply the two times x and plus 1. Then, you subtract. Now, when we do that, you see that x to the power of 3 minus x to the power of 3 is 0. So, that one aside, that one has passed. So we now have minus 3x squared minus plus x squared. The same thing as minus 3x squared minus x squared. This minus times plus is minus. Okay, now minus 3x squared minus x squared will give us minus 4x squared, right? So we have minus 4x squared. Now, we are going to bring down this minus 9x. And we are going to bring down minus 5 as well. All right. We keep dividing. 
So we are going to use x to divide minus 4x squared. And when that happens, you are going to have minus 4x remaining. Yeah, minus 4x squared divided by x. So this x will take only one of these. So you are left with minus 4x, right? So we have minus 4x. All right, remember that whatever you got, you are going to use it to multiply to uh, these two terms. So minus 4x times x will give us minus 4x squared. Okay? Now minus 4x times plus 1 will give us minus 4x. So we go ahead and subtract. Now when we subtract, we have minus 4x minus minus this is 0 now minus 9x minus minus 4x is the same thing as minus 9x plus 4x which will give us minus 5x so we have minus 5x and we are going to bring down this this minus 5 remember that what we have here is minus 5x then we bring down minus 5 so we are going to bring down minus 5 this is what we have now okay Sorry. So this is what we have, minus 5x minus 5. Minus 5x minus 5. Okay, so what do you do now? We are going to use x to divide it again, as usual. Now, when x divides minus 5x, you have what? Minus 5. Now, minus 5 times x will give us what? Minus 5x. And minus 5 times plus 1 will give us minus 5. Now, notice that we have what? We have zero here already because this and this are the same. So it's zero. That means we are true with the division. Okay. So once you get zero, sorry, this is supposed to be under here. But I know you cannot see more than this. So this is what we are going to have, zero. Now, that means that we have that x plus 1, x plus 1, bracket x squared minus 4x minus 5 x squared minus 4x minus 5 is equal to 0. So we have reduced this cubic to this. Now it's very easy for us to solve. Yes. So what do we do next? We are going to factorize this quadratic equation. We'll leave this the way it is. It's already factorized. So let's factorize this. Okay. So you know how we do this now. You need two factors of minus 5. Now when you add them or subtract them, you get minus 4. Okay, so um, looking at this now, we, there are so many factors of 5, but 5 and 1 is what we can manipulate to get minus 4. Because 5 plus, uh, plus 1 will give us 6, 5 minus 1 will give us 4, but 1 minus 5 will give us minus 4. Okay, so it's actually 1 and minus 5 that we are looking for. 1 and minus 5. So for x squared, minus 4x minus 5 equal to 0. We are going to write that x squared. Remember that we got what? 5 my, um, minus 5 plus 1, right? So it's going to be minus 5x plus that 1 is 1x plus x. Now, minus 5 is equal to 0. Okay, looking at this now, we can now factorize, looking at this and this, they have x in common. So we are going to bring out that x. x squared divided by x. We'll have x, right? Minus 5x divided by x. We have minus 5. Plus, if you look at these two uh, terms, now they don't have anything in common. That means they have 1 in common. So 1 bracket x minus 5 is equal to 0. So that means that we have x minus 5. Let's pick 1 from the bracket. x minus 5 into what x plus 1 x plus 1 is equal to 0 remember that we have found the first one as x plus 1 already so it means that 3 of them x plus 1 into x minus 5 into x plus 1 again is equal to 0 so note that since this is a cubic polynomial that is it has 3 the highest um the index of your x the highest power of your x is 3. That means that the value of x that we are looking for must be 3. We have to get 3 values for x. Okay, now looking at this, you can say that x plus 1 is equal to 0. That is for this. Let's also know that we have it twice. So as I'm solving for this, I'm also solving for this as well. 
So we now have that x is equal to this plus 1. We cross to become minus 1. So this becomes minus 1. So we are going to write it twice. That x is equal to minus 1 twice because of this. Then this, the second or the third one is what? x minus 5 is equal to 0. That means that x is equal to what? 5. So these are the values of your x. Thank you so much for watching. Do have a great day.